We're making progress. Delicious. Juicy. Percolating progress. Alright, so I think that's the falls over there. Anyway, back to my story. So, I was going to the flea market on a Wednesday, when it's actually... The parking uh, on Sunday is $7, and the parking on Wednesday is $3. So I figured to myself, you know, I might as well go in there. I might as well see what they have to offer on a different day because uh, I know some of the vendors show up on some days and some vendors show up on different days. So I was actually looking forward to going uh, to the flea market yesterday, as you probably could have told by the the cheerful gleam in my eye um, when I was recording yesterday. I was all hyped up to go. Ooh, that was lovely. One hit, critical strike. Boom. Um... So I went, I drove all the way out there yesterday, and holy crap, guys, it was, it was so dead there. Nobody was there. The parking lot maybe had about 25 cars there. Of course, that was when I found the right parking lot. The parking lot, the parking lot that I went to last time was completely abandoned. Apparently, that is only open for weekend uh, parking. So I had to stop my car pull out my little phone, figure out where the hell I'm going, call somebody up because my I had a terrible, terrible signal out there, so I couldn't get any, like, I couldn't pull up any maps or anything like that, so I had to call my friend, and he had to tell me where the hell I'm going. And I finally found my way there, and, God, it was so disheartening. I got out, and I walked around, and holy crap, guys, there was only, uh... There was only vendors selling fruits and vegetables, and there were only vendors selling clothes. That was it. There was no, like... Oh, man, last time I went, there was people selling, like... Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What am I doing? Don't use your magic. We need to save that for that asshole guy, the sergeant. <laughs> that reminds me of Deus Ex. I'm sorry. That, that totally reminds me of the guards from Deus Ex. Sergeant? No, it is never the sergeant. <laughs> anyway... Um, so last time I went, there was all these cool independent people selling, like, I don't know, they had, like, really old Nintendos, they had Dreamcasts, they had, uh, I saw a Magnavox, Magnavox camera last time, it, in really good condition, too, I was astounded, but this time, man, I really had to look around and dig deep and find anybody that was selling anything interesting, and I did find... Somebody that was selling, actually, there was one item that I actually found that I might have been interested in getting, and it was, uh, I found an original Tetris for the NES, um, and it, it even had, like, its little guidebook in it, and it had, like, it was in, like, this blue case, and it looked really cool and official, but I figured, you know what, I don't really need that right now, I don't feel like, I don't know. That was the only, I mean, the only other thing that I found that might have been interesting, if it had actually worked, were, um, PlayStation 1s, but man, these were like the saddest PlayStation 1s you've ever seen in your life. They didn't even open. They're just dirty and grimy, they didn't have controllers, they didn't have any connecting wires, they didn't have any memory cards, they were just the system, and I really tried to get the CD thingy to open up, and man, it was so caked with grime that it just wouldn't even move, no matter how much I struggled with it. Um, and the only other... This is more of a sad thing rather than an interesting thing. The, the flea market is like a... The flea market's like the graveyard of sad-looking toys, I swear to God. I saw a whole bunch of, like, Raggedy Andes and, like, Bart Simpson dolls that are just... I don't know, they're not... You know how the Simpsons are yellow, but these were, like, turning green from age. It was just... oh quite, oh man, I just, I felt so bad that all these toys were like, unloved and not bringing any joy to anybody anymore. Um, so that was a complete bust and I learned a very, very, very valuable lesson. Never to go to the flea market on the weekdays, only go on the weekends, and actually it makes pretty, it makes sense. Oh my god, you did two damage. Two damage! Come on, Felix. But it actually does make quite, if you think about it for more than two seconds, it makes sense that, hold on, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, a large stone block, no, 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 okay, well, we now know where it is, shit, don't do that, 
<sighs> anyway, um, so I left there quite, quite saddened by what I saw. I even saw like a whole bunch of like really old, um, crappy video game manuals. Uh, I think there was like Madden 07 and like Naruto Rise of the Ninja and I don't even know. There was a big stack of them like underneath this tarp that I was trying to read, but they were in a really hard to get to position and they were, there was like this really old fruit roll up like, used fruit roll-up wrapper next to them that you can tell had not been moved in, like, nine years. Oh! Just... I was very disheartened by the time I was out of there. Um... And then I came home, I fell asleep after a couple hours, I uploaded, uh... Uploaded some videos. I'm sorry if this is turning into, like, a blog slash vlog thingy, but... The actually... This is leading up into something that you guys would actually care about that is actually somewhat interesting is, uh, I had some pretty messed up dreams. Well, not terribly messed up, but these were just kind of weird dreams for me. I had two. I ended up sleeping for like 13 fucking hours, which is very, very well needed. Well, very, very relaxing and much needed. There you go. That's a better sentence structure. Um, hold on, save. I've gotten very paranoid about saving. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. So anyway, the first dream involved me and a couple other individuals hiding away in an attic, kind of like Anne Frank style, you know, hiding from the Nazis in their attic. And I, I got the impression we were hiding away from, of course, zombies, because zombies is totally something that seems to appear in every dream of mine, even though, I don't know, zombies just are a nameless force of evil for me. I don't really think of them in the fun, oh, it's just zombies, we get to kill them, yay! In my dreams, they're always just a faceless force of evil that have come to invade my life and kill me. And in this case, I think somebody made some noises and uh, they found us and I died in like the first two minutes of my dream. And then I rose as a zombie and I realized, holy crap, I really, really, really want to eat some cheeses. Like, that was the thing. I didn't want to eat brains. Not at all. I didn't want to just gnaw down on humans. I wanted fucking Cheez-Its right now. Give me Cheez-Its. Why am I not eating Cheez-Its right now? And in case you don't know what Cheez-Its are, they're like these little square, artificially flavored cheese cracker thingies. And oh my god, I had... S I would have killed my own mother to get my hands on some Cheez-Its right then. And everybody else around me was like, oh my god, Cheez-Its needed. And I, there was some like, I don't know why, but there was some part of the brain that we decided that we, that it, it was to the point where like, we couldn't get our hands on any, on any Cheez-Its, but we discovered that if you ate a certain part of the brain, it kind of tasted like Cheez-Its. So, me and two other zombies, one of them happened to be Batman. I don't know why Batman appears in my dreams all the time. He's just a nameless, faceless uh, force of good. But anyway, me and Batman and one of the guy from a book that I'm reading, his name is William Smithback. He's a journalist. Me, Smithback, and Batman all decided, you know what? Fuck this. Let's go find the Cheez-Its factory. And, you know, we got Batman here. He's like a... Superman engineer, he knows all kinds of machinery and stuff. He's gonna get the Cheez-It factory back up and running and we can just stick our mouths by the conveyor belt and eat Cheez-Its until we die. Well, we were already dead, but you know what I mean, it, until we exploded. So, we left the rest of the zombies in the cabin holding their dicks and wanting more, more Cheez-Its and uh, we made our trek through the woods. Wow, we're really kicking the slime's ass today. Nice. Anyway, so we made our little trek. Hey, I can actually run through the dungeons. I don't... Did I know that? Did I know that I could run through the dungeons? Well, if I didn't before, I know now. Anyway. So, uh... The whole dream devolved into me, Batman, and this other guy, William Smithback, going through the woods trying to avoid humans because we knew that, you know, as soon as humans see us, they're going to attack us or do something to cause us harm. And I guess all the humans were like having this big concert rock band party thingy. And they were playing like really, really loud screamo music. And, and 
The whole forest was lit up, and we knew exactly where they were, and we were trying to avoid them like the plague. But even then, we, as we were going through, like, um, a train yard, we ended up running into, like, a group of two or three humans, and we killed those fuckers dead and ate their brains. And it was quite satisfying, I have to say. Um, how do I... Is it this room? No. And, uh, so we ate their cheese it brains. And we kept going, kept going. And I think we got captured at one point, and we were, like, on our knees about to be shot by all these humans. And then, like, for some reason, somebody, I can't remember who the hell it was, but somebody, like, sniped the humans and killed them right before they were about to kill us. Somebody way off in the distance killed those fuckers, and I can't remember who it was. It was some... It was a zombie version of somebody that I know, but I can't remember who it was. The nameless, faceless one. Hell, for all I know, it could have been my alternate ego, my alternate uh, persona, the invisible gun, because, you know, I was dreaming myself as me. But anyway. So, somebody randomly saved us, and we got to the Cheez-Its factory, and then, that's when we had, like, this change in dream perspective, where you realize that Batman had his own agenda the whole time, and really wanted to get to the Cheez-Its factory so that he could take over the motherboard computer thing in the basement and do something really sinister with it. I forget exactly what he wanted to do, but, like, because he was a zombie now, all of his previous, like, goodness and, like, not wanting to kill anybody and all that had completely been thrown out the window, and he's a wild animal now, and he was just... He wanted to kill everybody, I got the impression. Even us, even his fellow zombie friends. And, uh... And then that was the end of that dream. And the other dream that I had, which also, strangely enough, had Batman in it. It was, this was a much, much, much shorter dream. And it was Batman, and for some reason he had a brother named Jeffrey. Um, him and Jeffrey, I guess they were like teenagers or something like that. Maybe he was even like his long lost brother or something. Um, they were going into a, like a forgotten wing of the Wayne Manor. Just to explore it. Um, and... If you guys have ever played uh, Orcarina of Time, you know, Legend of Zelda Orcarina of Time, it was kind of like the forest temple where everything's kind of really, the perspectives were really skewed. And I think there was even that, oh, when you're in Orcarina of Time, when you go to the, uh, I think it's the poison dungeon or the ghost dungeon, you know, the one where it's the the, uh, the dungeon that has the big drum boss. I forget... Ah, uh, fuck, I can't remember the name of the dungeon. The one that's under the well or whatever. Um, the graveyard, the death area. But you know those... You know those uh, big white evil enemies that come out of the ground with the hands? You know the ones that are guarding the, tre uh, the treasure chest? Well, I got the impression that that thing was a ghost living in that wing of the manor... And the man- that wing of the manor itself was really, like, all the walls were pink. Like, really fleshy and just... The whole room was really wide open. It was just a big square room with, like, different hallways going off to other big square rooms. And there was, like... The creepiest part that I remember was, uh... We saw a chair, and it had been covered up, but there was, like, a suit on the chair, like, uh... Like a dress suit, but... It wasn't, like, folded or anything like that. It looked like the person that had been in the suit had, like, disintegrated, and the suit was still there. Like, there were still socks... Like, the socks were still in the shoes, and the belt was still on, and the shirt was tucked into the pants, and there was still underwear under the pants. It was just... That was, like, the creepiest thing ever. Obviously, it doesn't sound that creepy when, uh... I'm telling it to you, but if you had been in the dream environment, and if you'd been there... Holy shit, it was like the most intimidating thing ever. And I can't remember what happened from there, from there on, but that's basically my two weird, weird, weird Batman dreams. In fact, hold on. I should pay attention and probably potion myself now. And again, I don't ask for these dreams to happen. They just happen, so excuse me for being a fucked up individual. Because I can't control the things that I dream about. Trust me, if I could actually control the things I dream about, I'd be a much, much, much happier person. But sadly, I'm not. And... 
to make myself happy, I actually have... I don't have Cheez-Its, I have the next best thing. I have goldfish crackers right here, and I'm gonna have some right now, because I'm a little hungry. A little pecked. A little... A little, uh... Hungry. Yeah, that's a word. Nah. Mmm! Goldfish crackers! Delicious. They're just the regular ones, by the way. No, none of this fancy, like, spicy crackers or anything like that. I've even got a drink here to go with it. Oh, I'm such a healthy person. I'm going to outlive you all. Because my agility is increasing as I drink this drink. Ah. Ah, yes. So anyway, um... Trying to think of anything else of interest is happening. Hmm, not really. I don't have anything. To, I don't have anything to do the rest of today. I'm actually going to my sister's uh, <clears throat> sister's graduation tomorrow. She's finally graduating high school, and it feels I really shouldn't like. I don't know. This is gonna sound weird to all of the older people out there, but it feels really, really, really weird for me to be able to think that I graduated from high school two years ago. That just seems like ages ago. I've been feeling really old lately, I don't know. I'm going through like, not a midlife crisis, but I'm going through like a quarter life crisis. If I have this to look forward to every quarter of my life, might as well just end it now. Ugh, I've been feeling so useless lately. What am I doing with my life? Killing slimes? And not even damaging them? You see, that's the thing. Ooh, 